Elias Pettersson is having one of the most underrated seasons ever. Pettersson is having a career year with 36 goals and 60 assists through just 73 games played so far this season, yet he isn't seeming to get any recognition whatsoever. His rookie year was nothing short of spectacular. He burst onto the NHL scene in the 2018-19 season as a 20-year-old center for the Vancouver Canucks and quickly made his mark as one of the league's most exciting players. In his very first game, Pedersen scored his first NHL goal and added an assist for good measure. He went on to score 5 goals and 8 assists in his first 5 games, setting a new record for the most points in a player's first 5 games in NHL history. Throughout the season, Pedersen continued to dazzle fans and opponents alike with his skill and creativity. He finished the season with 28 goals and 38 assists for a total of 66 points in just 71 games. This would be enough for him to win NHL's Rookie of the Year. One of the things that made his rookie season so impressive was the way he made his teammates better. He had the natural ability to set up his line mates for scoring opportunities and he showed a maturity and poise on the ice. Overall, his rookie season was just a glimpse into the kind of player that he could be and showed that he had the potential to be a superstar in the NHL. He followed up his remarkable rookie campaign with another impressive season, showcasing his elite skill set and proving that he was no one-hit wonder. In his second season, Patterson played in 68 games and recorded 27 goals and 39 assists for a total of 66 points. Patterson also demonstrated his defensive abilities in his second season. He was a reliable player in all situations, including on the penalty kill, and he showed a willingness to work hard and battle for pucks in all areas of the ice. In the two following seasons, Pedersen's production seemed to decline slightly and he began to receive lashback from the tough to play for Vancouver fans. Some critics argued that Pedersen is not physical enough and can be pushed off the puck too easily. While he has shown flashes of physicality and is not afraid to battle for pucks in the corners, some believe that he needs to add more strength into his game in order to become more effective in tight spaces. Another area of concern was his consistency. While Pedersen has shown that he has the potential to be a dominant player in the NHL, he struggled with consistency at times. There have been stretches where he's been a game changer on the ice, but there's also been times where he's seen a bit of a scoring drought or disappeared for long stretches of games. Another problem was face-offs. I think this is probably due to his size and lack of strength. Winning face-offs can be crucial in certain situations, and some believe that he could become more of a force in the face-off circle. He definitely addressed some of these issues this past offseason, as he's proven to be much more sound in all of these categories this year. Pedersen has just dominated offensively this year. To put his incredible stats in perspective, I'll give you some numbers here. So he ranks top 10 in scoring in the whole NHL with 96 points. He's 7th in the NHL in points per game with 1.32, um, where he's above guys such as Mitch Marner, Jason Robertson, uh, Tage Thompson, Austin Matthews, and Sidney Crosby. He's been able to do all this on a pretty awful team. And despite the tough times in Vancouver, I think there's definitely some bright spots from this season. Obviously the first one being Pedersen. He's been able to find his game and produce as one of the best players in the whole league. Uh, Quinn Hughes, he's having a monster season offensively as well. And we can't forget about Andre Kuzmenko, who's definitely a future star in the NHL. Do you guys think that Pedersen should be receiving more praise for his efforts this year? Let me know in the comments section. That's all for today guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Looking for number three here. Oh, what a